sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust on you. You know. Sway in the morning, Shade Four or Five. Heather, I almost think we gotta we gotta start coming up with a new intro theme for this segment that we do when we invite a lot of the um, the the stars, the performers, the artists from all over the world to come be on this show. You know, I often it it, it I don't know it baffles me how a lot of times when we book artists who are from the states, even from New York City, but even but from the states to come on this show. And they come late <laughs> or they make up an excuse why they can't come or they don't want to rap because their voice is hoarse or they just, God, man, I was in the studio last night and it ain't for me. Right. I, I just want folks to know that a lot of the artists come up, they make excuses and they, they're telling me like they're apologizing to me. You don't have to apologize to me. It doesn't ba- it, it, it doesn't it doesn't hurt me <laughs> if you don't show up or if you come late. Or if you don't want to spit, you're talking to literally 32 million subscribers at any given moment here on this station. You hurt yourself when you don't show up. It doesn't affect my legacy. It doesn't affect my brand, have the B's or Tracy G's. It affects your own. So when we invite artists to come across an ocean to be on this show, and they show up 30, 45 minutes ahead of time and they're coming all the way from the continent of Africa because they dreamt of being here in the States and making a mark, making an implant, showing people that, Hey man, I've been working just like you. I come from a different world, but I got something to say just like you. I face different adversities, but I make it through it just like you. And I want to come on this show and shine just like you. That's what our next guest represents right now. Young man who's been putting in work for a couple of years now. He's here. He's making a lot of noise on the continent and starting to spread right now as he's one of the nominees for the BET Awards that's coming up this weekend for Best International Artist. He's here with us today. Give it up for the one and only Nasty C. Ladies and gentlemen, Nasty C. Nasty C. Nasty C. I'm honored to be here. All the way from Durban, had to be. I know. Probably my descendant or one of my relatives. He said he speaks Zulu. That means he's of Zulu bloodline, correct? Shaka Zulu bread. Shaka Zulu bread. The fearless conqueror. Yeah. We saw the movie. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> it's such an honor to be here, man. Thank you guys for Aww. having me. I appreciate it. I'm not, you know what? Any you earn this ain't by accident. Yeah. You know this. This yeah. you didn't stumble here. Yeah. You earned your way here. I've heard about you for a long time, and sometimes it's just timing. You know, yeah. and, and we got a mutual uh, colleague that you work with. That's a friend of mine that kept hitting me about you. Yeah, and I said, damn, I keep hearing about this kid. And I, I take people through the ring. I don't just let you come on the show. I want to I want to see if they earn it, kind of. Just fun. I'm an asshole that way sometimes. <laughs> and my man Colin Gale told me about yeah. you and spoke really highly of you. And um, I had already done the research. So you, it, it's it's an honor to have you here. Thank you. Man. All right, man. So Durban, man, give a um, geographically, where is Durban found? Durban is at the south of South Africa, pretty much. It's where the beach is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place, man. Everything about it is just beautiful. The nature, the beach, the women, everything. The music. When the, when the women? Did he just go straight to the yeah, women? Yeah, not girls. What? Women. Yeah, the women. Why, the women. The women, man. Don't you got a girlfriend? No. You don't? Know. You single? Yeah. You had a girlfriend? Yeah. I you're not just saying this because you're in the States, right? <laughs> no. I mean, you know, it's going to go all the way back to Africa. No, you know, no, I don't have a girlfriend. Really? Yeah, I had one. I don't have one anymore. Were you, who messed it up? Did you mess that up? or? Um, No one's to blame. just didn't work out. Wow. Oh, that means that both means, are to blame, though. That means, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what happened? Your stars start rising. You got busy. You felt like the relationship was an anchor? Um, Always busy. And apparently I don't pay attention to stuff. Okay. Mm. They're seeing now the truth yeah. is starting to come. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said apparently. He said I'm just. Apparently I'm only going to mention the stuff that I did wrong. I'm not going to mention what she did wrong. Oh, I like that yes. stand up kind of guy. So yeah. you weren't paying enough attention to her. Your argument was, man, you see me out here working, caught up in everything. Yeah. yeah. Right. 
and uh, and my, my work I'm doing is benefiting us. I'm looking for our future. That was part of your argument. Mm. Sort of, kind of. Sort of, kind of. But you wasn't infidelity. You wasn't cheating on her or nothing. No, 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 no. Yo, this guy. <laughs> He's been groomed, Sway. <laughs> it's all good, man. You can let it out, man. If you, you y'all no longer together, you know, right? Mm. But I don't want to disrespect her. Like that. Okay, good, good. I, I'm, I'm not mad at that. Um, you, you've done a lot, and um, how many awards did you, did you, um, recently win? Um. About six, about six. Yeah, two different award shows. One on, um, one for record of the year at the Summers, and five at the Metro Awards. Okay. Yeah. Hey. One for record of. Did you perform there though at um, the Summer? I performed at the Metros. At the Metros, yeah. and you won four, five, or four at the Metro. I won five at the Metros. Okay. Record of the year, um, at the Metros too. Okay. Yeah. And that what you up against, um, Questa? Um, I think I was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. I remember that because people thought he should have won. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember. I'm here, baby. I'm here with you. Yeah. <laughs> people, some backlash on that, right? Yeah. How did you receive that? What did you think about that? Um, well, I know how much hard work I put into this and the toss that it takes on my health, um, my mm-hmm. relationships, just like and my friendships and everything. I know what it what it took for me to actually get here. So I feel like I worked hard enough and I deserve the awards. Okay. I don't mind the hate. You don't mind the hate? No, I don't. Yeah. I don't it, pay attention. It, it's interesting because it, just like here in the States and Africa, even though, you know, you, the people from different places on the continent, but the rappers get hate too, you know? Yeah, a lot of it. A lot of hate. Lot Casper of got a lot of hate too, right? Yeah, now. yeah. What, 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 is the hate, what is the hate about? Like, is I don't it, know. People just mad and jealous, I think. Uh-huh. Personally, I just feel like that's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Um, you've had a lot of change in your, or in, even in your camp. You had a you had a crew that you was rolling with at first, and then yeah. you, you had to let them go. Yeah. Um, something happened. I'm not gonna mention names or what exactly happened, but it was like a lot of backstabbing. So, um, I decided to stick with the ones that I know that I could trust and my family. I I even brought my brother up with me. He's my manager now. So. I'm keeping it in the family. 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 No, we're yeah, keeping yeah, it in the there family. There you go, man. Get that a wow. round of applause. Make sure. your brother your manager. Yeah. So if you had to give advice to another artist on like key things to just like be aware of, whether it's for business or yeah. whether it's for people, you know, when it comes to your lifestyle, what is it? Um, Actions mean way more than words, and they shouldn't be like easy with trust. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the one thing that breaks a lot of people because you, you – Build a relationship with people thinking that they got you just as much as you got them, and then it changes, like, all of a sudden because of money or whatever. I don't know what it changes for, but it just does, and it hurts your career, like, a lot. Mm-hmm. It could derail you totally. Okay. Mm-hmm. So does it work the same, I guess, um, in Africa than it does here, as it does here? Because, like, we mentioned Colin and ACA, such yeah. a great company. Yeah. It was it important for you to reach out and have additional help, like a company like that, an agency like that, behind yeah. you, as Sway mentioned, to have you at these award shows, to have you out performing? Yeah. To have, how, is, how important is that to have that in your corner as well? I think it's very important because he pretty much just, like, holds our hand while we're up here, and he takes us to all the key people, the people we need to meet the people we need to build relationship with. Um, he calls it shaking hands and kissing babies. That's the shaking <laughs> hands and kissing babies tour. Shaking hands and kissing babies yeah. tour. Yeah, that's the politics. <laughs> the politics. Yeah. yeah. You you got a lot of folks, like even listening to your album, the um, the Allow song with yeah. uh, French Montana, mm-hmm. uh, um, Mario Hardwick. Yeah. You know, all these guys have are familiar with you and reaching out to you, right? Yeah. Uh, French Montana how did that collaboration happen um I had that beat and the hook I made that beat and the hook like months ago right like so long ago. and I just had it on my on my PC in my archive I don't think I was even going to use it mm-hmm. and I I recorded a video when I was like dancing to the hook and I posted it on Instagram and it kind of went viral and Reggie it was like the the label manager was like yo I like this song is that done is that complete work can we get it can we still put it out and I was like yeah and he he I think he hit up French French heard it and he liked it and so we we did it. They did it. You see this, you know, mm-hmm. this is, what, oh. what what I like about you is it's hip hop this uh, music this this um this industry has a lot of parallels, you yeah. know. Um 
and you got young men like yourself, 20 years of age. 20. Got the yeah. best selling album right now, winning all kind of awards. You did the what happened with the Puma thing? Was it? Um, um, that was an endorsement, sort of kind of. Yeah, it got a Puma endorsement, or uh, did you sign the Puma, or they? they yeah, we it? did, but it was like a short contract. It ended yeah. right after like three months. Did your brother negotiate that deal? I think it was better that way. Yeah, yeah. There's like too many limits and restrictions. He knows it's at twenty. Have a be. That's good. He well, we got a good relationship yeah. with Puma. You got a good relationship a with Puma? Great relationship. They still send me stuff. They've been sending me stuff before we even spoke about it yet. Okay. Yeah. Rihanna's rock working with uh, Puma, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The yeah. Weekend. Yeah. The yeah. Weekend. Yeah. Uh, have you um, had any, or would you love, I know you would love to work with them, but has that been Um, That hasn't happened yet, but I'm praying that it does one day. I really like to work with Rihanna. Okay, the, um, I'm, I'm gonna play this a loud song with French Montana a momentarily. Hold up, but I want to ask you uh, <coughs> your the the style of music you do. Yeah. The the indigenous style is called what? Is it Quito? Or how you yeah, Quito. Quito, right? Yeah. How does your sound differ from Quito? Um, I grew up to Quito, but I I would never play a Quito song like okay. voluntarily like that. It, it was always like playing at my house or in a car or at the taxi or whatever. Um, I just listen to a lot of Lil Wayne and T.I. I've just been listening to hip-hop my whole life. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. Lil Wayne and T.I. Yeah. All the way in Durban on the beaches with all those beautiful women. That's it, Sway. That's the hook. <laughs> that, that's it. That, yeah. What are we doing, man? Sitting in this the dirty New York City. Going, living messing off the, up. Messing up, man. Yeah. Um, I'm going to play this song aloud, and uh, I'm going to open up the phone lines, 888-742-3345. Um, Bad Hair Extensions, this is the album. is out now. Uh, you want to talk with Nasty C, give us a call. Sway in the morning, Shade 4 or 5. This track is called Allow, featuring French Montana. The album is B- Bad Hair Extensions of Nasty C. Bad hair extensions that, you know, no, nobody likes looking at that. <laughs> you know, bad hair extensions. They get dried up. The root is grown in. and yeah. doesn't look great. Um, well, what made you name your album that? <laughs> um, my album initially it was titled Bad Hair, mm-hmm. right? And that's just because I have bad hair. My whole family has bad hair, so that's just like, that's that. And later on, we had to put out an extension, an extended version because I dropped the album for free because I couldn't, um, I couldn't get one sample cleared in time, and that was a song that I did for my father, and I really wanted it to be on the album. Like, uh-huh. I would have had to release the album without that song, and I couldn't do that, so I dropped it for free. You dropped it for free. Yeah, so to make up for that, we had to add a couple songs and put out the extended version, so extensions. So let's talk about this ideology of what bad hair and good hair is, and <laughs> what colonial uh, mentality of some conquering country came into your life and our lives and told us that our hair is bad. Thank you. Not everybody's. Something. Not everybody's hair. I'm just talking about... My, my hair. What makes your hair bad? Um, I don't know. I just always had bad hair. It's like the color is off. It breaks a lot. Um, it just it was never. I've never had waves. I've been trying to get waves for like years and years and years, but I've never gotten waves. And I feel like that's good hair. That's <laughs> good hair. Okay, you, but you but your hair, but brushing the waves in. You need to use Dax, by the way, and you got to train it. You got perfect hair for waves and locks, to be quite honest with you. Your his hair is like mine. locks. It just breaks at the back, and then I just have, like, long hair. You're not moisturizing weird. the roots, baby. You got to moisturize the roots. I try. <laughs> it could be the gray, Sway. Huh? It could be the gray to hair. Everybody ain't waving. Everybody mm. ain't seasick. Right. Yeah, but what makes that good? That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> no, no, no. Those are two <laughs> styles. It's the gray. Is you gotta have a certain kind of gray. He know he feeling it. He said he tried. No, oh, he's been brainwashed to think that it's bad. <laughs> I agree, but we gonna yeah. save you. We, we gonna. We gonna <laughs> what's, what was it like growing up? You know, like and 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 do, do people? Um, and this might be a weird question, but do people yeah. embrace the traditions? Like you, twenty years old, do you yeah. embrace the the traditions of where you from? Yeah, definitely. Uh-huh. Um, I come from a very cultural home. Like right now, it's not as hectic as it used to, it used to be. Like before, but growing up to like age seventeen, it was like very cultural. So I do. Yeah, yeah. The, the, like artwork in the house. You speak yeah. the language, the speak, native tongue. Yeah, yeah. I speak that every day. Say something to me in um, the Zulu language. Um, like sway, it's an honor to be here. No, no. 
Oh, thank you, man. We appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> How do I say thank you in a language? Uh, you say Gabon. Gabonga. Gabonga. Turn the Gabonga. Gabonga. Yeah, Gabon. Gabonga. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Gabonga. Nasty C. <laughs> you will. All right, you got, we know your brother. How many siblings you have? Um, I have a lot, man. I have three brothers and about six sisters. Six sisters, so yeah. nine all together. But your mom passed away when you were younger. Yeah. That's what the song You Okay is about? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, to, just for folks don't, who don't know, she, she was in a, how did she pass? Um, My mother passed away when I was 11 months old. Um, She was on her way back to Durban um, to see me and um, one of my other sisters from her side. And she, uh, uh, like, unfortunately, the taxis were on, like, a, a rivalry or, of some sort. And she just got in the wrong taxi and happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. And she caught one of the bullets. Really? And it was, a, yeah, it was an accident. Yeah. And so you, you never really had a chance to have that connection. Making a song like this, you feel yeah. a connection. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I try to always remind myself that she's always here with me, looking over me. Okay. That's what's up. Nasty yeah. C. What what kind of student were you in school, man? Um, I was average. Yeah? I, lie, I was average, yeah. And, and so what was it that moment, that definitive moment or that, that was it Carter three Carter? Like what, 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 what <laughs> was, I'm trying to, you know, what, uh, it was T.I. King. T.I. Mm, King. Great album. That's the one that got you in the game. That's the one that just inspired me to start writing in the first place. I was like nine years old. Uh-huh. Yeah. Damn. Wow. What were your first raps about? Um, about a lot of stuff that Wayne and T.I. used to rap about, which I, didn't know anything about at the time. But, but you was trapping at nine, huh? I was just trying it out and just, like, doing my thing. You know? Is that how a lot of kids your age at nine learn English? If you grew up in a home that was so culturally um, bound, how do you learn English? Or how do you find out what trapping is? How do you, how do you well, learn would, the language? I went to a multiracial school. Um, everyone at home could speak English. My friends speak English. So it's like, okay. yeah, it, it's never been a challenge, really. Hmm. You went to a multiracial school, yeah. like in, in the states right now. You know, racism is, uh, you know, revealing its ugly face at all time high. Yeah. It never left, but it was yeah. just kind of cloaked behind the curtains, you know. But yeah. now, it's not fooling anybody. We know it's there. It's in our system. Yeah. You know, it's in our everyday walk of life. It's in our advertising. It's in our messaging. Uh, what is it like over there? I I don't want to speak on behalf of everyone else. No, Personally, for you, I, for you. I've never experienced any sort of racism ever in my life. Really? Never, ever, ever. So nobody ever looked at you and didn't. And, or deprived and, me of an opportunity because of the skin of my color. Yeah, uh, that's never happened. What a great life you must live. Word up! I wish yeah. I had that life. So <laughs> you could date white and nobody will frown on you if that white girl took you home. People congratulate me. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> what? Where like I'm a from, trophy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. She Eight got good grand. hair. Why do they congratulate you? Because you're beating the system or or just because? In in a way, yeah, because you don't see that a lot, like where I'm from, Durban, mm. Elov. That doesn't happen. Right? What about her? If you da you've dated a white girl before? Um, I've had relations with a white girl. So you banged out a white girl pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, but you never went home. Am I allowed to speak like that on radio? Yeah, okay. this one. Ah, yeah, this day. So okay. you can say, you can say whatever, but don't step out of yourself. Be who you <laughs> okay. are. If that's not how you normally talk, I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, and don't listen to me. Um, but you've never been in the home of a person, a white person that you dated. No. Nah. So you don't know what the parents might think. Of it? No, I don't. You don't? No. Never experienced any racism. So you ever work regular jobs? I've never had a job. Damn, who is this kid, man? It's like the Fresh Prince of Durban. What <laughs> <laughs> the hell is going on? Never had a Seriously, job? Never had a job. Okay. Is your family well to do? Like you guys are considered pretty affluent or um well, we're okay now. Where's your brother at? Put your brother yeah, up here. Your brother. Come here, man. He's a older, man. He's 20 he years old. Yeah, racism. man. I know he has some, man. Yeah. How, how old are you, bro? I'm 28. 28. Okay. Yeah. And what's your name? Um, Ayanda. How you say it? Ayanda. Ayanda. Yeah. yeah. I like that name. It's a beautiful name. What does it mean? Does it, mean? Uh, it means increasing. I'm the second born at home, um, second boy. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, my dad is basically saying that the family is increasing now. Okay. Yeah. What, what, what does your dad do for a living? He's a HR manager in a hospital. 
Oh shit. Yeah, but he didn't start out as okay. an HR manager. So, well, how did he start off? Um, he was uh, working security uh-huh. and um, obviously he liked studying. So he started studying. Um, eventually, he worked up the ranks at work. Mm. He frowned then, on it. Yeah, Did eventually. He be, yeah, he wasn't very too keen. He, 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 yeah. he, he wasn't embracing this rap thing, right? Mm, yeah. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't like this. How, how, how'd you turn him around? Was it through your success? He started seeing your videos? He started seeing money. And he was like, okay, this is working. <laughs> <laughs> more rap, more rap, son. Mm. Rap, right. You never experienced racism either? Nah, I did plenty of times. Like what? Give me an example. Um... It's um, walking at a mall. Uh-huh. Um, for some reason, um, the other race, where I come from, they'll tend to, to either smile. You don't even know why they're smiling at you. Um, also, at schools, uh-huh. um, if you had white friends, your, your, the, your peers, uh-huh. guys your age, they're usually cool, very cool with you. Uh-huh. But then when they go to their families and you need to visit them for a birthday party or something, yeah, you kind of feel it there. It's not it's not in your face kind of racism. It's no. very subtle. It's kind of like yeah. here, uh, but it's becoming more in, in your yeah. face. So it might be a generational thing. You being yeah. 28, him being 20, yeah. you know, maybe it's oblivious to him. He doesn't see I had see. a white friend that used to walk me home from school and then walk back home every day at, like, yeah. grade five. Yeah. yeah. So y'all, y'all don't, yeah, wait till you get broke. House, yeah. Yeah. Did you go in his house, though? Yeah, I've been. Tested. And and the parents then put a broom in your hand or nothing like that? Wow. No? no? Okay. So why are you trying to make this man has live in a utopian society? Why are you trying to put put our American nonsense over? He's he's having fun. Let him do his thing. He he's living life. He hey man, I'm inquiring it. about the way he grew up to see what are the parallels and the lack thereof between his society and ours. To show that there are similarities and in some cases there aren't. Yeah. There are eighteen, nineteen, twenty year olds in America who will say the same thing he said. I've never experienced racism of any kind. I find it fascinating from how I grew up, yeah. so I want to explore it and see how does that work. Right. Little Wayne said Little he Wayne never said experienced that. Yeah. it. So, that's yeah. your guy. You know, so that's why I'm asking his brother. I find it fascinating. Yeah. I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, I think it's great yeah. if you could live a life without experience racism. Yeah. I don't want to experience it. Right. <laughs> Shit. You ain't got to experience it. So maybe, I don't know if you've ever experienced this. So I don't know what your experiences yeah, are. Every day up here. Isn't it? Every day up here. What? <laughs> God, what, 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 what racism? You get past this, if anything. You get, you get uh, support, if anything. <laughs> He but like, anyway, back to you. This is, this is nasty. See, it's like, yo, Sway, this is not what I imagined. <laughs> well, that's, welcome to the family, <laughs> nasty. This, yeah, this is why I don't do that racism <laughs> shit. Let me out, <laughs> Sway. No, I find it that's fascinating. Amazing. No, I think it's amazing if this yeah. young man can live his life. He's but living his life. He BS. followed his dream. Yeah. You turned your dad's idea around about what you can do. You had it's, it's sort of like how we got into the industry mm-hmm. where your parents wasn't supportive of it. You know, we came into the game of hip hop where it wasn't this big thing. So I applaud you. We applauding you. Yeah. But it's it's new to us. This is a we're, new we're, story. We're learning. I'm, we're learning. I'm, I'm learning from you. I understand. And so and I, I when I learn, man, I want to eat more. Yeah. Hell yeah. So what I'm learning, man. Insatiable. Yeah. Because yeah. what I see is a 20 year old man. Who went? How far did you go in school? Um, I finished high school. Finished high school, got a high school diploma degree. Mm-hmm. Um, had a knack for entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. Now he's an entrepreneur. You know, he's in control of his destiny. He got his brother managing him. Right. He got a number one album that's out selling everything. He's winning a ton of awards. He's over here in the states for the BET Awards, which he is nominated for how many? One. One award, what is it? Best, uh, in, best International. Better in, yeah. International. We saw that some information leaked that said he already won. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're trying to say it was, oh, it was a mistake, to like, but you probably already won, you know, and so you're accomplishing big things. Thank so that deserves a round of applause. I appreciate Woo-hoo. it. Yeah, man. Last women on the yeah, beach. He, he, he's single, you know, he wasn't paying <laughs> enough attention to his girl. She got out of there, you know. <laughs> Damn. He got backlash because man. he was winning from the country. You shouldn't have won, yeah. but he said, I earned it. Yeah. Man, I'm trying to get to know Nasty C. I like Nasty C. I like Thank Nasty you. C. Try to wave Thank up. He had a wave cap and a brush. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to track 18. He got a song called Vent. Um, and Vent is just that. You. Yeah. Let him go. What you got to vent about? Um, At this point, there's not really a lot, but. 
I had stuff to speak about like before. And here it it's is. Like, Bad Hair Extensions is the name of the album. Pick it up. It's on iTunes right now. Um, he's going to be at the 2017 BT Awards here in live June 25th. That's Sunday at 8 p.m. Watch him. He's up for award. It's been leaked out that he's already won it. Did you, Go get did, it. Did you practice your acceptance speech? I didn't want to get too excited because it was a leak. Yeah. I, if mm. things change, I look like an idiot. Good point, yeah. good point. Yeah. No, nah, you're still shining, bro, no matter what, even being nominated. Ryan is from Indiana on the line. What up, Ryan? Hey, Ryan, hey, Ryan. what's poppin'? What up? Good morning, Sway. I got a two-part question with a two-part call for you. I'm going to make it real brief. Nasty C, I'll be honest with you. I've been sleep on foreign hip-hop, South African hip-hop until yeah. today. You sound dope. I look forward to hearing more from you. Thank you, bro. Keep it, keep doing your thing. Sway, I got a young citizen with me. He's celebrating his ninth birthday today, and he wanted a birthday shout-out from you and the crew, if possible. Absolutely. What is his name? Xavion. I'm going to put him on the phone real quick. Ouch. Hey, Sway. Hey, Xavion. How you doing today, buddy? Good. Hey, I heard it's your birthday. Good. But I got a present for you, okay? Mm-hmm. Xavion, you officially a citizen. A sway in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, buddy, thanks for listening to the show, okay? And happy birthday, all right? Okay, that's, that's mm-hmm. pretty much it for Zayn. Okay, <laughs> all right. Felicia, good morning. How you doing? Hey, Felicia. Felicia. I'm doing well. My first time calling up. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> Don't say bye, Felicia, because it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Say, say hello to Nasty C from, um, from Durban. What would you like to say to him? Hey, Nasty C, I really love your sound. You sound good. And Thank I'm you. listening to your lyrics, and I'm like, damn, he's killing it. I don't hear lyrics like that anymore. Please keep it up. You spit very well on that beat. I'm loving it. Great job. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That was, I like Felicia. Me too. <laughs> She's cool. She sounds grown, I know she too. Cool, right? Yeah. yeah. Like Felicia, you single? He's single. Okay. I'm not single, no. Oh, okay. Oh, so, let me <laughs> She <laughs> said, "Oh man, hey, so we about to get off the phone. We can't say bye. How do we do it? You can just say, see you later. Hear from you later. Okay, see you see later, later, Felicia. <laughs> that doesn't work. Thank you. All right, all right. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. All right, we got a uh, Trey from Chicago. Trey, what up? What Tracy you want to say? Trey. Trey, what up? What up? What's going on, Sway? Heather, Tracy. Hey. <laughs> all right now." Uh, first off, man, that that song was dope. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. That was that, that shit was nice. Thank you, bro. Yes, sir. But man, I'm really calling. Man. I've, I've been to Durban. I've been to Joburg. I've been to Cape Town. Yeah. You tripping? Talking about there's no racism there, man. I mean, apartheid wasn't that long ago. I said personally. Go there even. I've yeah, I know. I understand it. personally, but I think it's a little deeply rooted because you saying you can applaud for having a white girl when you go there, man. The, the the money and the power the white the white people still have it the Brit the British still have it there man we we when you go to nice restaurants hotels and all that you, the only black people you see are employees you don't you don't see wealth black black people with wealth enjoying themselves there so if you just say there's no racism man that's just that's really blowing me because I felt like it was more deeply rooted there than here well he he's saying in his twenty years he hasn't experienced it he's yeah, not man. saying that. But, it's not. It don't. That's so why I started off by saying I don't want to speak on behalf of anyone else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, just just living out there and day to day, what I'm saying is impossible not to see it. But it's a po- it's possible for it to be oblivious to someone. Absolutely, and, that, and that's, that's my point. Yeah. Okay. I, and okay. I agree with that. Okay. Hey, Trey, that's what's up, man. Nasty C loves you, man. He said, "Can you buy his album, though?" Oh yeah, I got him. That's okay, nice man. That's Thank what's you, up, man. man. That's what's up, man. Yeah, that's the you know that's the listeners, man. They want to know, man. They mm-hmm. like me, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. Um, AKA, that's your homie, yeah. right? Casper, shout AKA, yeah. shout out to Casper. Casper's on the album. Mm-hmm. The we like Casper. Yeah. Questa came up here. That's shout your family to too. Yeah, yeah. And everybody support each other. At least the ones that are making it. Cause yeah. I know Casper and AKA, they had their thing, but that that's over, right? Um. Yeah, I think it's over now. Yeah, I think it's it been over. Y'all yeah, talked yeah. to them both about it. Anyway, yeah, for the most part. But you know, y'all so support each other though. Yeah, definitely. Man, y'all got to do that big tour with all of y'all on that. Man, that'd be hot. Yeah, it actually would. Yeah, it actually would. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool, man. Um, I was gonna play uh another song, but uh, you know, I don't. You say you watch the show. You know what it's about. Yeah. And I I like the fact that you living a life I wish I could have at twenty. 
I appreciate that. And I'm learning from you. And thank you, man. You're giving me information that, that I can utilize. And you got a great album. I sat and listened through your album a couple of times. A few standout songs for me. Those are the ones I'm playing. I wanted to play the You Okay song, but yeah. I, I felt like that's something that people go get the album and dig in. And, yeah. and to 25, that's my joint. Asleep, I like that too. Thank you. Uh, but I can't play another song, Tracy. Nah. Heather, you know why I can't play another song. Yeah, I do. Why is that? Because you got to spit some bars. Let's do it. And step in the valley of the hyenas. Hyenas. Wanted to drop a beat on them. Uh. Uh. Sizzle. Uh. Bad hair. Sway in the morning. O three one, O three one. Durbin, stand up. Yeah. Shade 4-5. Look. Number one hip-hop show on the planet. Say. Nasty C. Look. Short, big-headed, I'm the rapping Caillou. Low life youngin', but I get as high as Snoop. The balls on this kid could bucket the highest hoop, touching all of the kids. I got pedophile moves. I surround myself with people that's prepared to go the extra mile for me. If you change up, we don't reconcile. Those kind of memories can never die. My middle finger's like my second child, I raise it well. Instrumentals like you sound like you was raised in hell. I wasn't, but when I'm there, I kick my feet up. So the sum of my exes when y'all die I might see ya. And we can have a 16 some. Young high eat, now I eat ya. Young high beast on high beast, I'm eat the track, keep up. Will not need for any besides Jesus. And my girl got a Khaled album body. Nice features. Wife beat her. One night each one. They don't like to stay over or say goodnight neither. I am not the one. I don't like people. I don't get checked. I don't check the price either. I'm from 031. That's Durban. Straight flat splurging. Get in there because we deserve it. You heard me? Yeah. Look. Tell him. Niggas sect of herders have you facing like some faggots, sir. I'm taking twice of that when I'm at practice. I take my medication like an addict. Matter of fact, let me take some medication while I'm at it. Take a second, watch a drowning on my kids. I'm yelling paddle, girl paddle. Take that D and L and E and handle, girl handle. All I'm bringing to the beat is ammo, more ammo. You know that's to see. Betting on this boy ain't no gamble, bro. I'm yuck. Started when I was beating off to Marissa. Now I finally get to blame it on the money where my wrist hurt. Cause I be counting money up for breakfast till it's dinner shit. It's either that or shaking up two liters of that scissor. I'm going through some shit, even started listening to gospel. I'ma lose my shit if I have to see another doctor. I've been losing sleep. All this fame gave me a shot. Cause I blew up and saw that all these niggas deserve some Oscars. I'm serious. Shit's hilarious. These niggas scandalous. It's not what you imagine, they a bunch of savages. That's what it comes to. They a change up on their families. You change up on your own for some change. That's the saddest shit ever. Whatever happened to the loyalty now? It went so far. I almost let the drama boil me down But shit, I blame myself I expect to be more for me now Should've been smarter How I let the money spoil me now Damn, long road ahead of me I'm booted for the trip And look at how I'm serving him I deserve a tip Damn Yo, Yo okay. What the, the hell just happened? We got a hyena up in here Yeah What the hell just happened? He's gonna be big Nasty C, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Nasty C, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, like thank a you. pedophile, I'm touching all the kids. Oh, how was that? Oh man, I totally, totally. My wow. girl's wow. body is like a Khaled album. Nice. Great, nice features. Who does that? Wow, man. Yeah. Nice one. Thank I you. I should guys. be giving all these that. dudes some Oscars. Uh, <laughs> Wow. I don't I didn't I don't know. I just totally unexpected. I get to say this to the rest of the world, Heather. I've said it a lot to the country of uh, North America, now okay. the United States, whatever we call okay, it. Okay, I'm here for it. <laughs> this is for the rest of the world. Okay. All the other six continents. Okay. You whack rappers. <laughs> you know what? Your time is limited now. So you was able to hide in other countries where we didn't see you, we didn't hear you. <laughs> You can't hide anymore. Mm -mm. Nasty C just opened the gates. Did you see what he just did on this mic? I don't care where you from in the world. When you come here, you got to be a hyena. <laughs> Nasty C. Bad hair extensions. Get the album. We got bars. Yeah. It's official. I'm Sway in the morning. Shave four five. Good job, man. Flipping style, so picking man. apart the pocket. Appreciate it. What's Appreciate going on in he Africa? He said he was a hyena in his bars. I eat you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Man, thanks for coming through. Wow, man. You, what man. song you want me to play? What song you want me to play from the album? Any song. You okay. You okay. Track yeah. two. Let's go. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. We got first aid with Kelly Kincaid up now. I'm, I'm feeling good. Yeah, man. Man. That's good shit. Yeah. Yo. 
Sway in the morning. Only on Shea 45.